Greetings, this is Earthman from EarthmanSoil.com. God bless you guys, and I hope you're doing well this day. Now, we're going to talk about nanotechnology in agriculture and how you can use it in your neck of the woods, your grow room, your backyard, your farm, whatever the case might be. And in particular, we're going to talk about nanoparticles of key nutrients that are less than one hundredth of a nanometer and these little tiny things are going to be the key to the challenges that we face in our house or farmers face in a farm. So let's go ahead and we're going to look at the science of nanotechnology. We're going to look to why they will be used widely in the future and the amazing effects that they have on plants, soil structure, and your microbes in your soil. Here at EarthmanSoil.com, we are about the science of growing plants. And down below, you'll see a whole bunch of links that'll point to why nanotechnology and agriculture is the future. Now, here at EarthmanSoil.com, we are years ahead of traditional growing. And just go to our website and check it out and see all the different ingredients that are involved in our biostimulants and our inoculants. And you'll see that we are ahead of the curve. So, Let's go ahead and boldly go where no person has gone before and be trailblazers leading the way for others to see how plants of the future will be grown. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at what scientists are finding out when applying nanotechnology to plants. What they're finding out is an amazing increase in plant growth vigor, yield, and so much more. When nanoparticles are applied to the soil, the science is showing a massive increase of not only the nanoparticles, but the bridgeway they create for the increase of uptake of other vital nutrients. Now, it's best to apply when they're young, when they're seedlings in the beginning of their tiny little roots. They're not ready to take up large particles, but the nanoparticles, they fit in there just beautiful. And I'll tell you, when you start off with nanotechnology right from the get-go, you will see incredible, incredible growth. My friends, let's go ahead and take a closer look at what scientists are already seeing using nanotechnology for plants. They're seeing what they call a biotransformation phenomenon. In other words, what they're seeing is not what they expected, not only with the plants, but with the microbial life around the rhizosphere of the plants. For example, these nanoparticles are small enough to go up and down a plant's apopolis pathways freely, going in and out of each cell. In result, you're having plants with thicker cell walls, larger stomatas that take in more CO2, larger root mass um, for better uptake of nutrients, better use of energy photosynthesis, um, amazing uh, unexpected root growth and shoot growth, um, larger than expected yields and biomass, and basically an overall healthy, strong plant they never have seen before. And this, my friends, is good news that I want to be part of. So let's continue to look at nanotechnology in plants. What scientific papers are pointing to is when you start it right from the plant's beginning, right from seed, and you do it right up until harvest, the introduction to soil and sprayed on the leaves of a plant during certain plant cycles, studies show that these nanonutrients do amazing things. For example, they increase the chloroplast and grain structure and stacking of a plant. They enhance shoot and root growth unlike what they've ever seen before. Plant vigor is incredible even in hostile environments. Photosynthesis increased. The better usage of energy, therefore the increase of proteins and sugars and amino acids. Overall, biomass is just incredible. These plants in the studies are doing something that they've never done before. And I'll tell you, once again, I want a part of that because what they are creating, they're super plants.
My friends, not only do these nanoparticles, these nanonutrients help plants and overall structure health and growth, but they also have amazing effect on the microbial life, as I stated earlier in the video, in the rhizosphere. These rhizosphere bacteria are using these nanoparticles as bridgeways and tools to assist in making these plants big, strong, and healthy. It's a healthy relationship between nanoparticles and the microbial life. My friends, we will have these products available at probably by mid next month, if not earlier, in the form of our products Kabloom and Massive. These are two incredible products, guys, I want you to take a look at. Look at my website, see the technology, and see that it's real. My gosh, I would not steer you guys wrong. I have seen the incredible things that these products do for my plants. And I want you to enjoy the amazing effects that I have seen with plants and using nanotechnology. God bless you guys, and I hope you have a great day.